Welcome back to part 13 of our Satsuma Let's Play. Shogun 2 Total War Fall of the Samurai. We continue where we left things off last time. And we're in a little bit of a pickle. But as I've kind of just um, explained to Twitch chat and kind of looking through our options today, we've just got to weather the Allegiant Storm. Because this public order isn't going to get better no matter what we do. Uh, aside from just waiting out the switch of allegiance, the switch of a culture, essentially, from pro-emperor to independent. And we've just got to give it time to switch over to lessen the non-clan allegiance penalty that we're currently facing. Something that I did think, though, was that we need to secure our kind of core central territories. And certainly, we need to make sure we don't lose Satsuma and Asumi, which were also being bombarded at constantly by the Tosa and the Saga. So what I'm thinking is everyone's pretty upset. It's not going to hurt them to have the taxes even higher right now if they're in regions where we can't do anything about um, those taxes. What I'm going to try and do is exempt these two regions up here because then that frees up this entire army to march south and then, if need be, split into two smaller armies to go and deal with the rebels and start fortifying some of the other places um, that we can then either exempt from tax um, or leave them taxed and just build up with extra garrison defences. I think that's what we need to do and secure these. So I'm not going to worry too much if we lose um, Goto Island and I'm not going to worry about Tsushima. I know it's got a gold mine, but... We could bring this army back to help hold our core territories right now. I think that's what we need to do. This ship, as long as it doesn't get disrupted, will be able to hold the Saga off. So it's also why I want to get some gold because I want to repair this navy, um, this ship in the next turn or so, to support that ship there. So I'm going to send this gunboat over here to go pick up the army. Oh no, the Obama navy. Okay, go there. If they don't go and attack the port, we should be able to, in a single turn, bring my Daimyo over to that port next turn. Um, I don't know if moving him, does that affect the movement range of the ships as well? Because that's going to be diabolical if that also happens. They shouldn't be able to stop the port, though. I guess we'll have to see what happens there. But yeah, these guys are still unhappy. Which is why we're going to send you guys over to Boozen. Which makes you guys at zero. That's good. You guys are still happy. And there you yeah, That army can't move across because we're blocking it with this army right now. Which is good. And I'm going to keep trying to bombard them when I can. Just need these guys to repair. In fact, what I'm going to do with them is move them round over here. Move them over there for the time being. There's that army over there. We want these armies to come and attack us at our settlements because that's where we've got the best chance of holding them all off. This army, though, now is free to start marching down this way to either deal with these rebels or with these guys and then keep pushing down here. I was thinking about marching on out with these guys, but I think we're going to have to just take the hit from hitting our gunsmith, um, which I imagine they'll do. We could charge it out to them, but then they could also swing back and make it here. And I don't really want to risk that. Um, with these guys, could we jump on out and see them off? No, we need to wait for them to attack us again. These guys coming in here. That's going to be diabolical. We've just got to try and take down as many of them as possible. If we end up losing settlements, we end up losing settlements. But that's all we can do right now. All we can do right now. Um... Yeah, I can't leave you guys there. Because you don't want more rebellion spawning on in for me to try and deal with. Um, right now, the Geisha entertaining nobles. Oh, yeah, she's in. It's not going to help there. Okay, it's fine. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Where's my other agent? But yeah, we just got, we've just got a wait things out As you wish. until our culture a 
goes independent. That's the, that's the toughest part, like the initial storm of switching, which makes this such a such a challenge. Uh, it'd be much easier if you actually gained uh, like loot, post-battle loot, like you do in more, more more recent Total Wars, but that's what, again, makes this so much harder. You don't gain post-battle loot or anything like that. Right. Clench your butts. We're about to end turn. Let's hope we don't lose any territory. Oh, no, the Saga. We're able to make it over. No! Oh, no, Takamori. That is a load of wooden cannons. Ah, uh, we've just sent Sakamori to his death, I think. Damn. Well, we will fight it. We're only a single tier. <laughs> Let's hope we don't lose some territory. Immediately starts losing territory. Know where my army's pulling back to. Yeah, I thought I thought the saga couldn't move across, but I mean it makes sense that you've got to hold that specific crossing point. The reason why we're not holding that specific crossing point is because you take attrition if you're on it. Oh boy. I mean, we've pulled off some pretty miraculous defenses in the past. So maybe just maybe. But I'm not holding out too much hope. to defend sir okay all their wooden cannons are over there that's great oh crap they can hit us though damn i was really hoping they deploy outside the range well they got spears 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 and one levy infantry over here Damn, those wooden cannons. Can't even see their range completely. That's really annoying because it means we can't deploy anyone. On the wall. Stop these guys as they advance. I'll figure out the range of those cannons. If I have one unit of cavalry, we could try and take him out. I mean, they didn't, they're not shooting the gatehouse, so. Let me just see if I can get anyone there. I'm assuming if they hit the arch tower, they can also hit that. firing so it must have been just this they could hit okay that's not too bad then at least we'll have one unit firing on them before we then pull back and form up now i just need to decide where we're we doing the bombardment Need to wait until they're a little bit closer, probably. That group I'm not too worried about. 
But it's going to be the timing of these bombardments that's going to be mega. I mean, I think go there with them all coming up. I need to wait a little bit longer. Firing, keep firing, keep firing, keep firing, keep firing. Yeah, they spread out. I probably should have put the bombardment closer. Oh, yeah, that's it. Come on, keep hitting them here. Yes. Yes. More shots on here. More shots on here. Charge the spears with my own. Keep firing, just keep firing. These guys are flanking around here. Get to the wall quick. Use a levy round. Pull it back. Just keep shredding, just keep shredding, 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 shredding. swing around and flank these guys. That's going to be big. Starting to break over there. Let's hit them over that way. Break these guys. Push them back. Turn it round. They've gone. Here's the bombardment. Great timing. Great timing. This guy's going to struggle over here. Get him in though. 
Come on. Far from shot. Onto these guys and then pull them back. Charge on through. Nice. Pull back because their cannons are firing again. Counter them all. Ready to fire. We'll get Gang Bate ready to go as well. Oh, boy. Fire. Bring down the generals. Break and 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 Yeah, they're broken. Turn it around. Go, go, go. Come on. We can do this. We can turn it around. Akamori can survive. Tree over that. Form up, form up, form up. Caught in all that overlapping fire. They are out of here. Get onto the walls, shoot these guys. Oh my days. I think we've done it. Now we shouldn't need to charge the cannons just because the last time we had a similar battle like this where the enemy just had loads of cannons left at the end, they all just break. I think if they're the only units left, they just break. If I was going to go after those cannons, I'd have to... Well, probably what I'd do is go out this gate, go all the way around here, hug the edge of the map so they can't possibly shoot my general and then charge him on in. Ooh, they are trying to hit that now. They've seemingly woken up. Yeah, I was really worried at the start if they were going to be able to hit all my troops in here. That would have been diabolical. If we didn't have that naval bombardment, though, we would have been done for, I think. Because that really helped cut through a load of their troops. Yeah, these guys have gone. We should see these guys all go then as well. Should. Maybe if they're the last ones. So I'm a little bit wary about my general being the only the only one to charge them. I don't want to risk losing him after all that. I mean, I'll win if time runs out as well. So I could just wait for the timer to end. 
the last time they broke. Send you guys out with the general. Take our time. Yeah, they're not leaving now. Not this time, anyway. These guys would have broken. Had... Uh, We not hold the held the settlement where you get the uh, last stand kick in. This way. Can you 100% melee on the melee on this? Um, you can build like a full traditional army if you want. You will struggle, but I think it can be done. Um, in Fall of the Samurai, it's just you'll you'll take some pretty epic losses. But you have to use like a lot of like mix of cavalry and everything else to. outflank constantly your foes. Oh, are they loading? They're loading, but I don't think they're firing on anyone. They'll never see us coming. We march up behind them. Not taking any chances, though. Just check the game Steam page. I can't believe it's 13 years old and it's something like 30 bucks base game and 50 if you want the game and all its DLCs. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually surprised that it's yeah, it's still priced as much. Um, actually, although like I think you'll still like definitely for show sure, until you'll definitely get your money's worth spending that on it. Um, I think it still holds up for. For a much older title. Like graphically, it's not it's not too bad. Um, like the unit models look pretty decent. I'm not using any HD texture mods on any of the units, um, but th there are various mods that will do that though. If you want them looking a bit sharper, I'd say the only kind of pitfalls of the graphics are perhaps like a few, almost like setting based stuff that just newer games have because technology's developed along those lines. Um, since this game was was made. Oh, crap. I didn't think they could turn their cannons. Oh, ruddy heck. Seriously. Oh, no, now they're breaking. We just had to get close enough to them, I think. Your victory is close, sir. Yeah, they've all broken. Oh, phew. All right. I don't think we can reach them, though, in time. They just made me pay for it a little bit longer with, with that bombardment. Oh, boy. Uh, I would say, though, like, yeah, if you're looking to pick up Shogun 2 and Fall of Samurai probably have a shop around because you'll you'll definitely find it cheaper than its kind of core price on Steam, I'd have thought. Um, if uh, you're not happy paying 
the kind of main Steam price for it. Oh, there we go. It's obviously I think I was I think I was chasing down other units in the battle I had previously with the wooden cannons. That must have been it. Why? Don't think we're gonna catch them in time. Would have been nice just to hit exact vengeance on them all. A unit has grown weary, sir. Come on. Mm, no, they're gonna do it. That's fine. Costly victory, but damn. We shredded them. We lost one Levy Infantry. They lost 2,197. GG. General's gained a rank, as he should. Obama draw the toaster away from our port. That's good. Mm. This is what I was worried about. I'm going to have to retreat from here. But they're going to surely chase. Yeah. The only thing I can hope is that the Obama don't have explosive shot right now. Oh, and thanks to those of you that explained previously, the numbers here show the first number is the number of ships, and then the second number is the number of seamen um, on your ships. Right. Um, explosive shell does do less damage. Uh, does do less damage. Does have less range. We are ready to defend, sir. So we'll hit them with that as they come at me to start with, with solid shot, and then switch to explosive as they get a bit closer. Uh, I'm now going to have to get moving as well. Oh, now got two ships firing on me. Yeah, explosive shell ain't going to hit. Way too short. Well, the problem now is I can't reload for a while. I'm definitely going to lose this. is that I'm going to stick on explosive shot and try and get round to them. Sir, no, I'm going to break. Is in I can repair, but then I can't fire. don't need to be losing right now is my ships. That little bit of healing did kind of help. Turn it, turn it, turn it. Heal, 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 heal. Keep going. Oh, 
I am sinking. Your general is under attack, sir. Not good, not good, not good. Still sinking. Still really badly sinking. Patch up them holes. No, no. She's she's dipping into the waves, Captain. Still can't go into. Still can't go into explosive shot, not close enough. Can now. But I think we're going to be in in the drink. Turn, 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 turn. Repair, 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 repair. I'm going to sink into the waves any second because I don't think repairing stops you. No, we're we're about to go down. The ship, Captain, that one's routing. Ah, oh, we just managed to break that in time. We can get the explosive shot off. That one, yeah, has sunk. She's going down, Captain. It's all right. There's enough space on this door for two of us. There's enough space on the door for two of us. Rip. But at least that drew the Obama away so that my, my daimyo can make it over with his army. And think of it this way. One less ship to pay upkeep for means more money for our forces. Yay. Oh, bingo. So this I am quite worried about. We have no naval firepower support, which is the only reason we won the previous one. Plus we had a daimyo. I think we're about to lose Bungo. But in we go and see if we can take these guys out. They have no cannons though. So it's going to be how well do our defenses hold against their advance. Do we have the HMS War? No, because it costs 18k to recruit and 2,500 to build. Uh, to, to build? 18, 18k to build, um, 2,500 upkeep. So there ain't, there ain't no hope for us having that anytime soon. We will get it at some point in this campaign, but it ain't going to be for a bit. Oh, thanks for all forming up in pretty much one space. That is incredibly helpful. Prepare to defend, sir. Prepare to defend, sir. Levies are waiting for us. Your command. Let them taste the sea. Sweep them from. Let them taste the sea. The waves are ready. Sweep them from the field. Oh, what I wouldn't give for some artillery bombardment right now. But yeah, now we're freeing up our armies, at least. Even if we lose this, we should be able to reclaim it within a few turns. We've just got to try and hold the saga off. If we know they can get across that crossing point. We now don't have any direct naval support to hold it. Or we might have to lose that settlement so that we can slow the saga down elsewhere. I don't know. We'll have to see. The, these next few, like, probably, like, I don't know, five to six episodes, I think, are going to be probably some of the toughest parts of our whole campaign. Wait to see. 
sitting there and firing. Yeah, what I wouldn't give for a little bit of bombardment right now. All of them bunched up like that would be incredible. So they're going to sit back with some of them and fire away. And then send them in, what, one by one? Anyone got a wind of death or pit of shades they want to fire through there? That'd be incredible. They're advancing to try and get up the uh, defences. start climbing up we pull back and try and hit them with as much fire as possible from these forces here the thought is whether i send a unit out here to sit and fire but we'll take so many more casualties we need the we need the cover Come on, for you guys to be able to fire from over here. You guys fire across from here. You guys stay here, keeping them busy. This is where a general would come in rather handy. Tower, we need to claim it back. Fire, 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 fire. Let's try and get him in overlapping fire. Just need to get a few of them breaking. Slowly dribble on up. I'm gonna say, yeah, this is this is payback almost though, isn't it, for the um the three or four episodes we had growing the economy. Now it's just like, yep, let's hope you grew your economy enough because it's about to get pretty mental. Firing, keep firing, keep firing. Put you guys onto the wall here so you can fire on this lot. Because if we can keep breaking them as they come on up, we can win this and we can hold them. Every battle where we don't lose the settlement is a big win for us. Claimed our tower back. They are coming up over here, but we should be able to hold them. They're broken. Incredible. I never used to enjoy Shogun 2 Sieges. I mean, probably slight caveat that it's just I just meant 
Shogun 2 base game. I think I enjoyed the Fall of the Samurai ones a little bit more, even though they weren't that much different. But this time around playing the game, both our Takeda Shogun 2 campaign and this Fall of the Samurai, I'm loving defensive sieges. I'm actually quite happy that we're actually getting a solid period where we do have quite a lot of defensive siege battles. That's, I would say, a, kind of a main complaint. We don't tend. No, I just realized as well, they are going to claim that because they've actually got the gatehouse. You don't tend to get a lot of defensive sieges because the AI rarely... Well, I mean, you, you do get a few in Warhammer 3, actually, but... You never get kind of, you know, ones where you maybe have a teeny tiny chance of overturning. The AI tends to only press the attack when it's so well in their favor or it's massively in your favor because they've miscalculated the order resolve or something like that. I mean, yeah, if we wanted to play this campaign like way more efficiently, we should not have started the war with the saga until we had like a massive war chest. Thing is, we did that in our Takeda campaign, and I just kind of felt that that made things just not necessarily super easy, but just made things very straightforward. So with this one, I was kind of up for a bit more of a challenge, which is why I didn't, you know, sit back and prepare as long as we could have done. Lord them as they will come on in. If we can take out that Daimyo, I think that'd be great. Target that general specifically with that whole unit. Fire a volley in. Take him down. Kill their general. And we should win the day. Although I think we've already won it anyway because they've given up trying to scale the walls. Now that they've cleaned the gatehouse and they're just trying to funnel troops through there. But they've now kind of derped out here and they're not spreading out. So, I mean, that sucks to be them. Yeah, there we go. I'd almost be tempted just to charge them, but seeing as they're not forming up. They've got they've actually got their backs turned to us. We're just going to keep on shooting. Target practice. Oh boy. Oh, you guys are advancing because you're going after the general, aren't you? I think he's broken. Yes, shattered. Oh, it's just the general that remains. Cheeky. Pull him back. Just keep firing. Just keep firing. They've now lined up with a force there. But they're getting shredded from all sides because they're the only one. Thanks, guys, for having a bit of a derp. I appreciate it. There's the full break. Is assured, sir. Uh, if we pop our... I'm going to continue because if we just pop our troops up on the walls a little bit, we should be able to get a few more. In fact, if we just charge these guys. Is that? Whoops. Should be able to get some shots from here. No, that's it. Heroic victory. Bada bing, bada boom. Take that for sure. 
genius tactic of facing the enemy at your, uh, facing the enemy with your back. Yeah, exactly. They tried. We only lost 241, so yeah, that's great. We can we we can do this all day. Oh, they're not pressing the attack there. But where are they going though? That's the scary thing. If you guys come and attack my capital, because I'll have you here. I've got you. That's an order resolve and a half. Bye bye. We lost no one. Nice. Every turn we survive, our public order, or rather our allegiance, shifts. Hopefully, towards a state of um, of permanent improvement. Yeah, we can order resolve this one. Credit. We lost ninety one. That's a great order resolve result. Thank you. Bye bye. Nagasaki is secure for another turn. Alien, go to Island. Recent issued, Lord of War. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I want to bring these guys back, but I don't know if popping them in there will slow things down. War with them. You got riggedy wrecked. But then so did my force here. And they're now... Um, they're still unhappy. In which case, there is no point exempting you anymore. Um, no, we can't. Well, we could do that maybe. Yeah, we could just about, but minus eight. It is dropping, thankfully. But it's also because we are minus 1,229 right now because all of our buildings are damaged, which I'm assuming means we're getting less income. So, yeah. If we did that, we actually dropped it down. We would have a few places slowly but surely recovering. I think what we need to do, we need to repair. Well, yeah, we need to try and repair some things over here. Our tenant field can't afford that. Is that, is that affecting our income? It doesn't look like it. It looks like we're actually okay. So I don't know if we need to repair it just yet. They're trying to push past. I've got this army moving down here, but I think I'm going to have to leave some troops behind because if the saga come back with another force, we're doomed. Unless we can use this as an opportunity to peace out, but I doubt they will now that we've gone independent. Mm -hmm. I did not think you had the courage to come before me. But speak now that you're here. I'm not going to be able to peace out with anyone. Well, we don't want to leave Takamori here. Um, so I think what we should do with the taxes, because we're never going to... That's minus 10. We're never going to get happy again, people happy again. Unless I could do that to lessen the burden. Because non-clan allegiance minus five, we're still going to be well out there with all the attacks. I mean, if we can secure a few places, we can get rid of the levy. Although they're not really adding to much, it may well be I have to get rid of like some of our better troops here. I mean, the Gatling guns are very expensive. If we got rid of them, even just one, actually, we'd be on better clan income. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. move you away although if we if we lose this if we lose Tsushima then that's 419 income that we lose but I kind of feel like we need this army back independent so places like this you're gonna be minus four so you'd actually be able to sustain this tax level right now if we crank it up you're not going to but that would give us the income we potentially need Ay, 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 ay. But 
But remember, if we lose that island and we brought that army back and left some troops here, that would give us enough to then have these guys unexempt. Repression is dropping down here, as is that, though, so it's keeping even. Tough, tough choices ahead. I don't quite know what the right one is, although I do know that we should move you back because they're rebelling no matter what, even if we exempt you right now. So we might as well be earning something there. We don't have any troops that we can throw in unless I pull back a couple of line infantry troops that could potentially make all the difference. Do we get money back if we destroy some buildings? Don't know. That might be an option if it really becomes pretty dire. Because if we lost that, if Independent took over and we lost the non-clan allegiance, we could probably drop the tax down one. But... Yeah, I don't think I don't think we're losing any of our income for these guys being damaged. But it's more the fact that we we've, we've got to secure public order here and then probably trim our forces down a little bit, the number of troops that we've got. Anything here that reduces upkeep. As soon as it cost for upkeep, legendary commander. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Also, repression. I mean, we're going to go through that one anyway. But you're going to stay put. We are researching upkeep cost reduction, aren't we? Five turns. That will help. Yes, my I'm actually wondering if we should just move around without the cannons for now and just leave the cannons behind to give us added public order because the cannons slow us, slow our movement down and then just keep pushing forward with these guys. Oh, we will decide all that and more at the start of the next stream and recording, which will probably be... Actually, I thought we'll probably do one more this week, uh, possibly Friday. And then, yeah, we'll carry on the adventure next Tuesday. So until then, watch on YouTube. I hope you've enjoyed. Take care. Ciao for now.